and welcome. I'm Nathan Newbro, the CEO of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic, and I'm joined by my partner and friend, the music director, Joseph Caballero Menek. Hello, welcome. Thank you for coming, and thank you, thank you for be joining us here. We're, we're at the Penrose House, which is part of El Pomar Foundation, and of course, in this 90th anniversary season, we will be celebrating the trustees of El Pomar Foundation for their decades of support. We think that's very important in this anniversary year because of their immense support for great music in this community over the decades. So uh, we're, we're glad to be here at Penrose House and uh, very pleased to talk about Dvorak. Yes. And his cello concerto, which will be performed at, on one of the El Pomar Foundation Masterworks programs soon. And played by our good friend John Fogler. So. Fantastic, fantastic performer. I'm very happy. Was with us just a few years ago. And yes, I so know. He's, he's back. He's back, and you know, he's back with probably the, the cello concerto. Yeah. You know? I mean, there are, it's interesting how many cello concertos in the history are written, how many composers don't have a cello concerto, Mozart doesn't have a cello concerto, Bach never wrote for a cello concerto, uh, Beethoven doesn't have a cello concerto, uh, Brahms doesn't have a cello concerto, obviously has the double concerto and has a triple concerto, so uses the cello as a solo, mm -hmm. but doesn't have a cello concerto. Right. So actually, Vorchak and Schumann, we can say they are like the two big romantic cello concertos and right. you know, Vorchak it's as it's best. And I think mm -hmm. that's, that's very happy, I'm very happy that we have the possibility to do the cello concerto with such a soloist as Jan Fogler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And playing the works of Dvorak is, is so important for an orchestra today because it shows off the orchestra in a special way. We've got fantastic use of melody yes. throughout his works and, and particularly in this one. Yeah, it's interesting because actually it's not nationalistic. It's a concerto that you don't feel it's, you know, like like Dvorak 8 where he uses uh, popular melodies or, or the ninth, of course, you know, mm -hmm. that, that he tries to, to evoke a new world. But in this one, not. He just used his you know, his singing way of doing things, his melodies that really captures you, uh, but in a very romantic way. So actually he lives you, live this kind of romantic life, which I think it's, it's great. And he does that with a normal orchestra, but using the orchestra in the most jovial way, and I think that's great. So. Right, well, and there are so many ways we, we learn to talk about composers. We talk about orchestration, we talk about phrasing, we talk about uh, the use of dynamics, we, we talk about all these things, but just the ability to write an enchanting melody <laughs> is is something that we that is Dvorak is very well known for, and you you said it singing melodies. Singing melodies, that's the thing. You know, you when you when you hear any of Dvorak's pieces, you go home singing that melody. Indeed. So the melody captures you, and I think that's the important thing. You know? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, we're so pleased that you're bringing this to our stage uh, with the Colorado Springs Philharmonic. If you'd like to know more about the Philharmonic, please find us on the web at csphilharmonic.org. Thanks.